Welcome back. We were in the middle of proving a theorem about Ramsey numbers, which is a computation. We were computing r43 is equal to 9. We saw from the bound that it's at most 10. Okay, and last time we saw just by example that it's at least 9. So that means the answer is either 9 or 10. Okay, the bound tells us it's at most 10, but in fact it's actually equal to 9. So how are we going to prove that? Unlike this example that we did for the bound, in order to prove that it's equal to 9, what we have to do is we have to prove that no matter how we construct k9, so any red-blue edge coloring of k9 either has k4 all blue or a k3 all red. Okay, now how many red blue edge colorings are there? Well, K9 has 9 choose 2 edges. How many edges is that? That's 36. So that implies there are two choices for each edge, so 2 to the 36 uh, possible colorings. This is why Ramsey problems are hard. This is about 69 billion cases to check. We clearly can't do it. With the triangle, we were able to write down the four cases to check, but with K9, there are about 69 billion cases to check. So even a computer is gonna have a little trouble doing that. So what we're gonna try to do is just come up with a proof, okay? And we're gonna follow the strategy of the proof that worked really well for us for R of 3, 3, only now it's gonna be a bit more subtle. So there's gonna be a claim involved. Here is the claim that I'm going to make that's gonna allow us to prove the theorem. So the claim is there is some vertex V of K9 that has either, so one of the following two cases, which is what's gonna allow us to prove our theorem, either at least four um, red edges or at least six blue edges. So why should that necessarily be the case? So think about K9. So any vertex of K9, right, what does it have? Well, it's going to have eight edges coming out of it. So that's not going to automatically prove this result, right? Because, because we have eight edges, right, coming out of some vertex. Let's just see why this is non-trivial. How could we do this? Well, we could have one, two, three red edges and one, two, three, four, five blue edges. This would give eight edges. So it's not true that every vertex is gonna have this property. We clearly can make a vertex that has three red edges and five blue edges. That's gonna be something that happens in K9. So it fails to satisfy this property. But remarkably, this property is still true. The claim is still true. So let's see why the claim is true. So we're going to have the proof of the claim. It's not that every vertex has this property. It's just that some vertex does. So if not, then we have to have the situation above. We have to have eight edges. It's pretty much the only way it can't happen. So then every vertex is like the above. Has three red and five blue edges. Right, because otherwise we're gonna run into trouble. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna satisfy one of these cases. Okay, if we if we lose a red edge, we gain a blue and we're good. If we lose a blue, we gain a red and we're good. Okay. So that's fine. Now let's try to do this. Let's take the sum over the vertices in K9, right? Of just the degree in blue of V. Okay, just what's the degree of the blue edges? Well, this is going to end up being, or let's do um, actually the degree of the red edges. It actually won't matter much, but let's say degree red of V. So what is that equal to? Um, well, each one has three. So what we're going to get is nine times three, which is 27, which is odd. When you sum up the degrees of the vertices, even if you're just doing it of a subgraph, you can't get an odd number. It has to be even. Right, so there is your contradiction. And that's why it's true. Because if not, we get a contradiction and it would have worked if I'd done the blue as well. So this is, this is really the crux of the argument. From here, 
we're going to split into our two classic cases that we're going to do. And we're going to follow the same strategy as always. Okay. So if we do the, the case that V has at least four red edges, right? What are we looking for in terms of red? We're looking for a K3, right? So that's all we're looking for. So when we're doing this one, we're going to look at the red neighbors. So we're going to have R equals the set of U such that U and V are connected by a red edge. And we know that the number of R is at least four. Well, what else do we know? Let's look at this bound. That was sort of our clue, okay? That means that we're either going to get, so we're gonna have one of two cases, right? So here we have at least four vertices. So either we get, either we get a K2 or we're gonna get a K4. Why is that? That's because R of 4, 2 is 4. So whenever we have a graph with four vertices, we either get two, a K2 that's red or we get a K4 that's blue. Okay? And for the K2, we're going to add V to get it up to K3. And so now we've gotten the blue K4 or the red K3 as we needed. Okay? We'll do the other case. The other case is completely analogous. So V has greater than or equal to six blue edges. Okay, so again, we're going to let B equal the set of W such that W and V are connected by a blue edge. And how many things do we have in B? Well, at least six. So again, let's look here. What do we have? We have six. Great. So that means that we either get one of the following two cases. We either get um, a K3 or a K3. Either it's red or it's blue. In this case, we're going to add V to get K4. And in this case, we already have K3. So this is our classic Ramsey theory style proof. We need to have some statement about we're splitting into two cases. Often the pigeonhole principle gets it. In this case, it was a little more subtle, right? But still, once we split into these cases, we say, okay, well, let's use the smaller Ramsey numbers that we get from this recurrence to prove that we've got something that's close to what we want. And then we add our vertex back. That vertex is exactly kicking back up these so that the T goes up or the S goes back up. So we get either we have a red K3 or we have a blue K4. So in either way, the Ramsey number 43 is definitely equal to 9.